Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Jeff Michael. Thought we would update you on some of the stories we are working on here today at KCBS. Here is the rundown on CBSLA.com. A second boy has died after a rollover crash in Tustin Friday. 17-year-old Jason Aguiano didn't survive his injuries. Another 17-year-old, Peter Fuentes, died at the scene. This happened after the driver lost control. The car flipped over, hit a truck. Seven people were inside that one car. A woman is recovering after this giant tree fell in Glendale, trapped her underneath. Police say the elderly woman was out for a walk when the tree fell, breaking her left arm and both legs. People nearby rushed over to try to lift the tree off of her, but no luck. They finally tried to use a car jack along with a pole that had to actually wait until firefighters arrived. Well, that's going to mess up your chalupa. After a car crashed into this Taco Bell in Glendale, the car lost control, slammed into the restaurant just after midnight. The crash caused a major water line to break. As you can see, water was pouring out of everywhere, ceilings. Somebody may be in trouble for this, the driver possibly, but nobody was hurt. And now here is Daniel Gersh with a look at your weather. Happy Monday to you. So we have a frost advisory in effect for parts of Ventura County, and that'll be with us until 9 o'clock this morning. It's a cool start to the day, but later this afternoon we'll have some nice temperatures and then a big warm-up on the way. We also have wind advisories that were extended. These now going to be in effect until lunchtime tomorrow. So we could see those north winds gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour this morning. And as we head into your Tuesday, they'll shift to more of an offshore wind, and that'll help to warm up your temperatures. Highs today in the 60s, low 70s, upper 70s for the valleys in the IE by tomorrow, talking 80s by the middle of the week, though, into Thursday and Friday for the Inland Empire and the valleys. And then as we head into the weekend, slightly cooler, but the sunshine's sticking around. So finally, feeling like spring. Jeff. All right, thanks very much. We are always on here at CBSLA.com. And remember to join us on the CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. That is your rundown. I'm Jeff Michael. Have a great morning, everybody.